Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of moving to Hiram, Georgia. My name is Seth. I'm a real estate agent here in Georgia. And if you're interested in making the move here to Georgia yourself, I'll have my contact information on the screen here. And so feel free to reach out at any time and I'll be more than happy to help you. So with that being said, let's get right into the pros and cons of moving to Hiram. So the first pro is that Hiram has pretty much everything you need. There's tons of restaurants and, and shopping centers and this all compact and in a real close area. So the driving distance between places is very short. So the second pro is that Hiram is just outside of Atlanta. It's about a 30 minute drive. So if you're interested in working in Atlanta, but you don't, you're not actually interested in living there, then Hiram's a great place for that. The third pro is that the housing prices in Hiram are actually very affordable compared to other places in the country. Uh, the average house price in Hiram is about mid 200s to the high 300s, depending on you know the size of the house and the exact location of it. But overall, it's pretty affordable compared to many other states. So pro number four is that the population in Hiram is relatively small but it's big enough that there's tons of opportunities there so population is about 4,000 people so it's not super crowded so there is plenty of opportunities to actually get a job in Hiram or if you're interested in opening up a business there's tons of opportunities there and the city is constantly growing so now let's talk about the cons about Hiram well the first one I'd say is that after the working hours and on weekends, Hiram's super busy. The thing about Hiram is the surrounding cities like Dallas and Rock Mart and uh, those kinds of cities. A lot of people travel from there to Hiram to, to eat and go shop. So uh, not all of the, the busyness you see in Hiram are from people who live there. Uh, so just keep that in mind that um, after five o'clock and during weekends that Hiram can be extremely busy. Con number two is that Hiram doesn't have any bars or nightclubs. So if that's something that's important to you, uh, you should keep that in mind because you would have to travel to a surrounding city to go to a nightclub or a bar. Uh, the closest thing that Hiram would have is going to a restaurant and having a bar there. But as far as nightclubs or anything like that, you'd, you'd have to travel to a different city. So the last con about living in Hiram is that things close relatively early, usually about 10 o'clock, sometimes as late as 11 or 12. So if you're moving from a, a bigger city where things stay open really late at night, about you know, two, three in the morning, it may be a big shock to you to see places closing at 10 o'clock. For someone like me who's lived in Georgia their, their whole life, you know, I've gotten used to this. Um, it's pretty common to see places close around 10 or 11 o'clock here in Georgia. So if that's something that you're not used to, just keep that in mind when you move here. As you can see, there's plenty of pros and cons to living in Hiram. In my opinion, it seems like the pros outweigh the cons. Uh, but I'll let you be the judge of that. And if you're interested in relocating to Hiram or just learning more information about it, I'll have my contact info on the screen here and also in the description box below. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.